Good morning, everybody. From a very snuggly little poppy. Very early in the morning on a Thursday. We're currently in Poppy's room. She's now adopted this spare room as hers. Every morning I come in here, give her a little stroke and a snuggle. She's a bit eager to go down and have some food already, but I want to have a little snuggle first, Pop. There we go. There you go. Come look this way. <laughs> She's like, nah, -uh, mother. I'm doing what I want. Actually, Poppy's voice would be more like, oh, shut up, peasant. I sit how I want to sit. What's on you, love? Good morning, everybody. It is very early in the morning. Me and Pop have decided to get up and watch the sunrise, haven't we? I'm not sure how much we'll see because it's a little bit cloudy today, but I thought that I'd wake up slightly earlier to <laughs> Let's look at our tree. Still there. Not sure what to do with it. Pop's not sure what it is, but still there. Decided to get up a little bit earlier this morning because to be honest, I've had a bit of a funny few days. You know, since the last vlog, actually, I think, oh, let's get some lights on. My mindset's just been a bit weird, and I don't know why, I don't, I'm not sure, but I'm trying to do some things to make myself, oh God, get your plant out. I'm trying to do some things to make myself feel better, because I hate feeling sad and anxious and, you know, I'm just, I don't like that feeling at all. I don't like to feel it. I'm sure, I mean, nobody does today, but I'm like really aware when I'm not feeling good and I get annoyed at myself for not feeling good, even though it is fine to feel sad sometimes. Yeah, I've decided to get up early because I thought it would be nice. Hopefully I'll be able to see a little bit of a sunrise. Um, and just to get moving a bit earlier, I think will make me feel a bit more alive and always makes me feel motivated for the day so that's what i've done i'm feeling a bit sleepy but it's fine just thought i'd say good morning well actually that's something else that i have been doing though last night because i haven't been sleeping well either which i think just doesn't help if you don't sleep you just have a rubbish day don't you i haven't really ever been that into meditation i tried it for a while last year but i just find it so hard to listen to meditation and really switch off. Last night I used the Headspace app and um, it was so good. I literally put on like a sleep one for five minutes and I just find it hard to switch off my brain when I go to bed sometimes. I don't know if you're like that and your brain just works and wants to think about what you've got to do the next day and you know, you start listing things in your head. I put a sleep meditation on. You can pick how long you have it. So I only did like five minutes cause I was like, mm. It's all gonna work, but it did. And I felt so sleepy and relaxed and like heavy afterwards. It was so good, I'd highly recommend. Um, but I'm just trying to help myself because I don't know why I feel rubbish. And if you're feeling that too at the moment, I don't know, maybe it's the weather, the time of year, after Christmas, who knows, but we're gonna have a nice day today. Oh, is that Pop trying to get back in? No, she's off out and about. This is like prime time for cats, isn't it? Grab the mice while you can, because no one's up yet. I want someone like you to stand by me always. And I dream of oh, two sleepy, hairy things in bed. Bluey, you can't be lost up every day. Why are you sleeping like that in bed? Oh, she looks so cozy. Okay, I'm a bit more awake now. And just before I go and get ready to go to the gym, I thought that I would do a little bit of a house update. Because I feel like, and lots of you had to, have said to me, we haven't really shown you what's going on with the house recently. To be honest, everything got super, super busy over Christmas. And, um... We just stopped. We did so much when we first moved in. So I think we kind of needed to have a little bit of a stop to like work out what we wanted to do anyway. Blue Velvet. <laughs> Bluey, you fighting your sister? Look at her. Puffy's like, for God's sake, I'm just trying to live my life here. You're a little pest, you are. <laughs> Look at her, she's so excited. Anyway, back to my story. 
um, yeah, we did so much and then we we kind of needed to like live in the house for a while, I feel, to work out what we actually wanted to do and what needed changing. So um, I feel like I'm getting there. <laughs> Still playing. Bluebell just keeps trying to headbutt Poppy's bum. Are you alright, hun? She's your sister, you know? <laughs> she wants to play so bad. This is making me feel like maybe we should get another little, not another Bluebell, but another little Cavalier. Do you want to have a sister? Or do you want to have a brother? <laughs> she liked the idea of the brother. Right, you go out if you want to. Let some steam off. We had a long conversation, me and my interior designer, and she's coming around next week. I think this year's gonna be the year that we get the house together. I mean, we haven't actually lived here that long, so to be fair, we've done quite a lot. But there's just a lot of stuff now that I really want to do, which we kind of left for a long time. So. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do like a whole house update, but the, the areas that really need it, which I think we're gonna start on first, I'm gonna show you. So, <laughs> this is the snug at the moment, which I personally think this is my least favorite room in the house at the moment. It was sort of our storage room for ages as well because we kept all the cardboard boxes in here when we had furniture and stuff. Miles also gained this little monitor over Christmas because I got him his Xbox for his birthday. And he needed a little separate area for that, for gaming, because it was annoying being on the main TV. But I don't know if this is going to stay like this. These definitely are not staying. I don't know what we're going to do yet. This is all old stuff from our old house. Hang on, my bat's low. BRB. I'm hoping this will be done by next Christmas. I mean, it should be. That's quite a long time. But just to show you some inspo picks. So these are the kind of shelves. I think we're going to do a colour like this, actually, too, on one of the walls. But this kind of vibe, I think this room will be if you can see. And maybe like a sofa like this would be cute. These are just some little things that I got to get like vibes from. This is, this is our utility inspo because our utility room is another room I really want to get moving on because it's literally like <laughs> a building site in here with lots of clothes and the socks and underwear hanging about. So think like this and what else did I get for the utility oh we want to do this actually as well in the snug make a little area for some wood to be stored because there's a fireplace in there and then we've got this is for the utility inspo so I want to have a little boot boot holder that kind of thing I really want to change this floor but yeah this kind of thing I mean we've got a really nice sink it just needs a little bit of in. Come on camera, there we go. So yeah, these are just li little bits of inspo. I really like these white tiles as well, but I think a little boot area would be nice. Or even as well, I want to do the hallway in the front of the house. I've actually got a really, oh that's so nice isn't it? Did you see that? That's so nice. Yeah, I've got a big idea. Well, actually it's gonna be a really big project, which I don't know if it's gonna be possible yet, but last night, and I've been thinking for ages because I hate our staircase. Like I just, it's not my fave. So this is the staircase and it's like a really narrow, I mean, I wish we could have banisters, but we can't. However, one thing I would love to do, now I need to talk to a builder and stuff before I go into this. Actually, maybe I shouldn't tell you yet in case I really can't do it. Um, maybe I should tell you. I feel like I can't say that and not tell you, can I? Well, I would love to, I don't know if it's possible, but to kind of knock down part of this wall so that there could be banister because then I feel like some light would come onto the stairs. We also very much need to paint them because they're all kind of scuffed. That's what I'd love to do. I'd love to have this bit, like only half of the wall because obviously it's holding up quite a lot, but I feel like maybe we can knock a little bit and then there would just be more light. Let me show you some of my stairs inspo. <laughs> so this is very much like our staircase actually. And paneling, that's what I was looking for, the word. That's quite nice, isn't it? It's making use of a steep, narrow staircase and that. But I just like to have like a, at least one pillar down the bottom. I think that could be possible. And then I would definitely want to get some picks up. Yeah, I love this. I love. All, I mean, that's a lot of pictures, but I love that. This kind of thing at the bottom, if you see what I mean. So there's just it's just a little bit less of a squish. But these are just some ideas. There's like a pillar. But yeah, that's gonna be a big thing. And then one other update, the spare bedroom, which I feel like I never showed you much of. It's definitely not done. I also need to change this bedding 
actually I feel like it's still alright for now it's more of a wintry than Christmas vibe isn't it so maybe it can stay but I never showed you this and I feel like so much has happened in here which I didn't document because it was a rush just trying to get it all in before Christmas so that my family could stay so this is not how it's definitely gonna be because I just I don't love it yet but most of this is from made I ordered this from made which I love and then I ordered this bed from Maid, which is a grey one. Actually, you have seen a little bit of this, haven't you? I think you have. These little side tables are from Maison's de Monde, but I feel like they match this, which I love. Lamps are from Maid, and this is from Maison's de Monde, which I also love. It's a little thing to put at the end of the bed. And then this big lamp's from Maid, which matches as well this and these. And then I've got a little plant in here. Little mirror from Maid. Oh yeah, <laughs> and then we've got some little pictures from Dizinho up in here and we have actually removed that big ugly white wardrobe and put this here for now although I don't know if that's going to stay but that's how we're looking at the moment I definitely want to like dress things up a bit it's all still very bare we want to paint it some different colours but yeah I just think I need a bit of Sean Bly the interior designer in here and the bathroom there's going to be a heck of a lot of bathroom work going on this year because this bathroom, this bathroom's not too bad. Not a big fan of these tiles. They do remind me of a leisure centre. So they're going to definitely change. I think we're going to probably change most of this bathroom, to be honest. Although, please excuse the toilet, it's broken. Um, but I do love these little stony bits. They remind me of barley, if you look. So I might try and keep them. This bathroom and our ensuite upstairs, I think we're going to start working on very soon, actually. So that'll be a big project. But yeah, that's a little update of the house. Oh, do you know what? Everybody who stayed in this bed said it's the most comfy bed ever. I really want to sleep in it. <laughs> Might come down here tonight and have a little snooze by myself. Yeah, that's just a little update because I feel like we haven't said much yet, but the, there's going to be a lot of work starting on the house soon and we need to get lots of new furniture for the snug and even the living room, there's things I want to change, and our bedroom. So lots to do. Is that Niall? Should we go say hi to Niall? We haven't said hi to Niall this morning. I think he's in the shower. He's got a driving lesson soon, so I need to see him before. Me and Niall are actually both going into London today, though. And we're going to bring you, we've got some exciting meetings. So where is he? Are you naked? Oh, he's not even in here. Oh, he's gone. Niall! Oh, he must have walked past me. Where are you? Hiya. There he is. I was just telling them all the things we're going to be doing in the house. Lots of things. What's that? I've already told them we can't do it again. I'm not cheap. What do you mean you're not cheap? I'm not cheap for my labour. You're not going to bloody do it, are you? Uh, DIY dad, he wishes. <laughs> mm. I was just going to say, I told them that I've got baby fever in my last vlog. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> This is literally Bluebell's favourite rug in the world. <laughs> Can you tell? Bluey, what are you doing? You're the happiest little thing in the world. Go on, Blue, do the whimmy. Do you want a little baby to play with? Imagine her with a little baby. I know. A little toddler running about. You'd be best friends, wouldn't you, Blue? Bluebell. Would be like, <laughs> running about, Bluebell would be like. <laughs> <laughs> Bluey, do you want to have a do you want to have a a brother? <laughs> Bluebell, do you want to have a brother? Or do you want to have a sister? Or do you want to have your own babies? Oh, possibilities are endless. But then mummy's gonna get jealous. <laughs> Which one do you want? Go on, Blue! The zoomies have begun. Morning zoomies! <laughs> Why do dogs do this? <laughs> Go on, Blue. Just getting her morning cardio in. Warm and tender every single day. What if we would join our forces? What a blue. It's a bluebub takeover. <laughs> She's so funny. Bluebub's just been watching me do my makeup because I've just I'm just getting ready because we're going to go to London soon. Um, I have actually just been to the gym too. Just had a shower. And um, I didn't bring you to the gym today because I was rushing as always. I know I say that on every vlog. <laughs> Blue Bell, you look so funny. Look at her. Oh, look, she's too cute. We should just call this the Blue Bell Show, shouldn't we? But 
I've just done my makeup. I've just done my normal makeup. So I haven't run through it with you, but this is it. Same as always. Charlotte Tilbs. And then I've just popped on this Fenty Beauty lip gloss, which I love. This is the Fenty Glow Gloss Bomb. I love it. Favourite lip gloss. Actually, let me take my hair down. <laughs> the bun is not staying either. I think I'm just going to leave my hair as it is, to be honest, because I'm trying to trying to give it a bit of a breather at the moment. We did a lot of mermaid waves over Christmas, not over Christmas, but around December, didn't we? And I just thought, I think my hair needs a bit of a breather. So I'm just going to leave it, I think. Even though it's not looking its finest, but I think we're just going to leave it. Go au natural. We're just going to meetings. But I had some parcels which I wanted to open with you. So in the parcels, I think, is something I might wear today because I fancy it. So I've got a few bits from ASOS and a few bits from Pretty Little Thing. And I ordered these in the sales, basically. I just ordered myself some new trainers. And I don't really buy trainers very much, so I'm really excited. Look at these. So I got these, they're the Air Force Ones. I feel like these are a little bit um, chunkier than the usual ones, but maybe they're not. Niall's got these, but I think I think these look a little, little bit more chunky. But I thought I'd give them a go, because I love white trainers. I also picked up a couple of accessories from ASOS too. Picked up these hoop earrings. All my gold earrings have gone a bit rusty, and I just wear them basically every single day. They were just some from ASOS, and then, oh, actually, these are quite snazzy, and I don't really wear stuff like this, but I thought, when I'm going to go glam, I should go glam in my ear. I <laughs> don't know how they're going to look on me, but I'm going to give them a go. They look really expensive as well, but they definitely were not. But I feel like they look really nice on people, so I'm going to give them a go. And then, from PLT, I just picked up two basics. Just wanted these to throw on with outfits. So this is a little white cropped hoodie. I have quite a lot of crop jumpers, but I wanted a hoodie because I feel like it'll look really nice with these two. I think I'm going to wear these today and then I'm going to pop either this one or I also picked it up in black. So I may wear the black one. Not sure how I'm feeling. But yeah, I just thought I'd pick these up and Pretty Little Thing's got really good basics. So I feel like for my outfit today, let me show you what I'm thinking. I had a little vision in my head. I don't know about you, but sometimes... When I'm feeling fashionista-esque, I have visions in my head of my outfit. Bluebell's literally watching me chat. You watching the vlog live? <laughs> She's too cute. I'm so sad that we're leaving her though. Literally, this is the thing I hate about going to London. But I think I'm going to pop this little t-shirt, which is something a little bit special, which I can't really tell you about. But, but yeah, this is something that's currently not out, but it will be. So I'm thinking I'm going to wear this. I might tuck it into my whatever I wear underneath. And then I think I'll go with the black one. I think. I'm not sure yet. I'll go with one of the crop hoodies. And then I think I'm going to go with my... You know what as well I, I've thought that I haven't actually done? I haven't done a proper tour, whatever you call it, of my dressing room. Would you like to see that? Let me know. Because I never did it. And I don't know why. But I think I might might do it. So I think I'm going to wear my balloon jeans from Zara, which I always wear. If you watch Vlogmas, I basically wore them every single day of December. This breaks my heart every single day. Bye, Bluebee. I love you. Oh, don't look down at me like that. You're so cute. Look at this. I've got to show you this before we go. This is her other favourite spot. The airing cupboard. What do you say? Keep <laughs> it up. Firstly, yeah. I want to tell you that you've got a mouldy strawberry. I bought strawberries as a snack. That's why you don't buy strawberries in the winter. It's mouldy, look. And he's got a plant attached to his head. Uh, yeah, it's more, <laughs> it's, it's more green than strawberry. It's a crazy strawberry. And we're going to London. We've got a bit of business to sort out. A bit of, a bit of business. It is actually, then, it sounds like we're taking the piss, we're not. We actually are going for business. Then, actually. Go on. What did go you on, carry on, it's your vlog. <laughs> no, I was going to say, I actually now have a new schedule for this year. I'm going to be spending at least one whole day in London a week. For business. <laughs> because things are <coughs> coming. Coming, just coming. Secret. And then we're going to do some 
Shocking. <laughs> Lovely. But I can't spend too much money because I need to save some money for a car. And the um, my Niall's life story on the train. And also, <laughs> my laptop is in a state of Im impending doom. Is that what you say? <laughs> and no. basically, it's days are numbered. You know this the screen really went. The screen went, and it's because I dropped pre-workout because I got gym at the time. I dropped pre-workout on my laptop, and it was fine. I thought it was fine. I thought I got away with it. Scott free. Laptop was still working, and then the screen just went all Do weird, you know like it was the it? Matrix. Do you know what I think didn't help? Do you remember what happened on um, New Year's Eve when we went to bed? What? <laughs> Kiev went on your <laughs> your laptop. Kiev. Do you not remember that? <laughs> I remember the Kievs, I don't remember. What do you mean a Kiev went on my laptop? Niall cooked himself two Kievs at 2am and took them up to bed. Was it a Kiev? He fell asleep eating them. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I ate them first, I know that for no, sure. Were, I would never fall asleep watching, in the middle of a meal, that is not me. You were watching Netflix, you had your plate on your chest <laughs> and you fell asleep, you were snoring with Kievs <laughs> on your chest. Anyway, it was three, the Kiev fair, juice obviously. fell on your keyboard, do you not remember that? I got Kiev juice on my back. I think that's actually what broke it, but I didn't want to break it to you. Anyway, back to not Niall's life story. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say. That's, that's the story. Actually, that's what I was going to say. I'm going to look for some accessories for tomorrow's shoot. Because we're on shoot tomorrow together. Business. <laughs> become a thing. Stop that. Making fun of our jobs. Everyone else already does that. We're in London and it smells like poo. Hi all. Are you nervous? No. I'm trying to make me nervous. An exciting meeting. You're making me nervous. No I'm not. I'm joking. Whatever. Thank you very much for holding my brolly. You can get out now. <laughs> Kyle's got an exciting meeting. Which we're going to now. And it's pouring with rain. Fabulous. How did your meeting go? <laughs> Look at that little smile. It was a success. I all had a secret, exciting meeting. My meeting went well too. Thank you very much for asking. I. <laughs> I've already asked you, not on the blog. I'm joking. We've already discussed it, but I we remember. wanted to discuss it with you too. We had some successful meetings, which means. Shopping. You're going to spend too much money. Well, no, no, I'm not really, but I do want to pick up a couple of bits for tomorrow for our shoot. Hang on. We're like business partners now. We're oh. shooting tomorrow. We're going to meetings together. I don't know who would trust us to run a business. We're business partners. Anyway. Can't bloody get rid of it. Very exciting things. Actually, very exciting things that are going to be happening in 2021. <laughs> <laughs> not long to wait. <laughs> not long. It's January the 9th, so not long to go. 2020. No, there's lots of fun things coming this year too. I'm very grateful that we have, we get to do our jobs that we love with each other, aren't you? I, yes. What did you say? I didn't even listen. I listened to the queue. So I was just thinking, the Christmas lights are a bit of a tease, aren't they? They're still up, but they're not on. Oh, God. Tease. Look how pretty the man of London doesn't actually look pretty today because it's raining. Anyway, we're Which heading day? to. Oh, I've got chewing gum in my mouth. I hate vlogging with chewing gum. Oh, yeah, it looks horrible. See it, we're headed to weekday, which is Niall's shop. He loves. And then we're going to head to probably Topshop because Topshop on Oxford Street is the best Topshop ever. If you haven't been, go have a look. It's so good. I'll take you in there when we go in there. No, no. Up to 50% off, darling. Look what he's seen. Oh, say. Well, we'll be coming through. <laughs> <laughs> She's telling you to come in. <laughs> she was like this in the window. Oh, no, we're in the edgy shop. <laughs> Get it. No, you need to go lower than that, love. It doesn't. My head's too big. <laughs> I've got a massive head. you got too much hair on your face. Yeah, I do. And your I've head. I've got a big head with really thick hair. I hope our kids have your hair. <laughs> Bring it up, kids, again. You look great. Is it good? Yeah, it looks great. Should I get it? No. I don't know what's happened to me. Everything I've picked up is neutral. Huh? Everything I've picked up is neutral. So I'm going to try these leather shorts. I'm going to try these balloon acid jeans. 
So they're like a new shape. I've never seen Topshop do. I'll show you them on. And then I've got this little boxy crop top, which I felt like will look cute. And I got the hoops. I've gone neutral. Where's all my colour gone? Right, these are an absolute no-go. I didn't realise they've got this weird line down the bumps, and they just don't really do much for you. They're an absolute mission to get on as well. <laughs> Look at the ankle. The cankle is out on show. It's a no-go. My thought, but not today. <laughs> got back from London. Niall's actually gone to the gym but I'm back from London and I've just popped out all of these ingredients because I'm going to make some actually let me just check. I forgot the pasta. We've got pasta. Thank God for that. Um, I'm going to make some salmon pasta. I'm kind of experimenting here to be honest which isn't very like me but I'm just going to experiment. I've got some salmon and I thought we've got lots of veggies so pop them in. Put a bit of Philadelphia and chopped tomato. And I'm going to pop some cheese on top as well and then I'm, I've got these little goodies for the sauce to add in. So I'm going to make that in a second. But first, I just thought I'm going to try and Skype my grandma because, actually not Skype, I'm going to FaceTime my grandma because I feel like it and I feel like I want to do it with you because I know she's going to watch this video. <laughs> She'll see herself on there, it'd be funny. You're on the vlog! Oh my god! <laughs> I, uh, look at my hair as I was late in the night. <laughs> I, I thought, well, what are you? Oh, that's... Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> I give you. <laughs> yeah, I was watching that. Uh, because you went to have your eyelashes then. Yeah. What, you saw it on Niall's vlog? Yeah, of course I did. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you? Yeah, I didn't know you could do it. They're quite attractive, someone. Do you Do you know what that is? What's that? A poo. It's a chocolate cake, is it? No, it's a poo. Oh, right. Pasta is simmering. It's nearly done now. And I feel like I've done a good job. I just need to add some Parmesan cheese. I possibly could have added a little bit more veggies, to be honest, but it'll do. Anyway, I think I'm going to finish up this vlog here. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I actually feel a lot more like myself since this afternoon. If I seemed a little bit off this morning, it was just because... I've just had a bit of a foggy head at the moment, but I'm actually feeling a lot better. I think Niall's just come home, actually. Where is he? I don't know. Anyway, I was going to bring you tomorrow as well, but I feel like this vlog will get a little bit too long because we're shooting something a little bit secret. I feel like it probably won't be very interesting anyway to watch and we'll be quite hectic trying to get everything shot, so come say bye. Yeah, mum, you're on the vlog, but you're... my mum's in the AirPods, but she's on the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to say you want to say something to the vlog, ma'am? No, she's gone all shy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. It smells so good. It's my pasta. It smells. It smells like pizza. It smells like really. My mum says hi. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, see you in the next oh, one. That was Jay Z. <laughs> <laughs> see you on. What day is this one going up? My Tuesday. Episode. See you on Sunday. I feel like there's a massive gap between Tuesday and Sunday. It's all right. Maybe we should move it to Wednesday and Sunday. Let me know. Yeah. Do you prefer Tuesday and Sunday or Wednesday and Sunday? Wednesday is a better day. Well, I said Tuesday now, so Ooh, let dear. me know which you prefer and I'll change it. You've got to keep them on their toes, Megan. You want it on Wednesday, sure. Thank you for watching. See you on Sunday. Hope you're having a lovely day. Bye. 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 got a little bit high then. Bye, boy. <laughs> boy. Bye. 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 <laughs> All right, bye.